2010 15-inch MacBook Pro Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card replacement, we suggest removing the battery for this procedure. Begin by shutting down and flipping over the MacBook. We'll need to remove the three long Phillips head screws first. Now remove the seven short Phillips head screws. After removing these ten screws, the rear panel cover should be free. Go ahead and remove the rear panel cover. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card removal. Disconnect the Wi-Fi cable from the logic board and from the Wi-Fi card and put it to the side. Disconnect the iSight cable from the logic board. Trace out the iSight cable and the Wi-Fi antennas and pop them out of their sockets. Be gentle when you're doing this, you can damage the connections. Remove the two Phillips head screws that are securing the Wi-Fi card bracket. There's one in the top and one in the right. The one in the top is the longer one and the one on the right is the shorter one. Lift up the bracket. Remove the two Phillips head screws that are securing the card to the bracket. Removing those two screws will release the Wi-Fi card. You can go ahead and push it out through the bag. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card installation. Insert the card into the bracket. Install the two Phillips head screws to secure it in place. Place the bracket into position on top of the C DVD drive. Secure the two Phillips head screws, the long one up top and the short one on the right. You can now reconnect the three antenna cables. Start with the shortest cable first. Move on to the longer cable sequentially. It will seem like a tight fit, but all the cables do fit into the channels. The eyesight cable goes over the top of the last longest antenna cable. Reconnect the eyesight camera into the logic board. Make sure that the antenna cables are secure. Reconnect the Wi-Fi cable to the card and to the logic board. Install the rear cover panel. Install the three long Phillips head screws first as shown. Now install the seven short Phillips head screws. 